you like beef jerky? I've got a couple of members of my family that are big time beef jerky fans. And whenever we go on a trip and we stop to get something at one of the little shops or a gas station or something like that, I can pretty well guarantee that one or two of the members of my family will grab some beef jerky. Beef with salt and other preservatives. And of course in the Old West they would salt beef and then take it into the back country. So when Jesus talks about salt in Luke chapter 14 verses 34 and 35, is he talking about salt as a preservative or a seasoning or like we talked about yesterday the preciousness of salt? And why does he say that if salt loses its flavor, can salt actually lose its flavor? Well, maybe not, though it could become mixed like it might have off of say the Dead Sea. But he's talking about believers who are not a precious preservative for the corruption of the earth. So how do we lose our saltiness? Well, he's been talking about discipleship in Luke chapter 14. And discipleship means you put Christ above family. Remember what he said about father, mother, sister, brother? You put Christ above possessions, verse 33. You put Christ above your country. Remember he said, take up your cross, which the Romans used to crucify people. You even put Christ above yourself. Remember he talked about denying yourself? So that tells me, to keep our salt, Christ has to be above our family, above our country, above our possessions, even above ourselves. For what does it profit a person to gain the whole world and lose their own soul? Here's the twist. You might just end up gaining those things back 30, 60, and 100 fold, but they won't have a stranglehold on you. You'll have a grip on them, and you'll be the salt that the earth desperately needs. Don't lose your salt. This is your daily devotional for Tuesday. Remember to seek first the kingdom of God and pray for the church and pray for me. Remember, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. God bless you as you serve him today.